Morning guys, it's Tim from Advancing Car Technologies and today we are in a brand spanking new Transporter T6 and we are going to be going over Carista and how to activate the big digital speedo which quite a lot of people, especially on the T6 uh, platform, um, have wanted to activate on their, on their system. So the most important thing is you have the big cluster which at the moment should probably show you your MFD data and um, also give you the little kilometres per hour readout in the little line in between. So if you don't have that um, and you don't have trip functionality or you don't have a multifunction steering wheel then you can't do it. But if you've got all of those things then you're ready to go. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to be going through how to plug this in and I'm going to show you through my iPhone on, a, on a, like a screenshot type video thing and how to go through all the different settings and activate it then on your cluster using your multifunction steering wheel. If you've got a trip function, uh, so the little buttons on the, on the side, on the stalk, then you can use that as well, um, just to give you a real idea. So the process of how to do it on the T6 is pretty much similar across the whole Volkswagen, Seat and Skoda range when you have this type of Highline cluster. So you can use this, this as much as you want on different vehicles as long as you've got those two things the high lines cluster and a multifunction still with all the trip buttons um, so let's drop straight in I'll show you how to connect up and we'll get you sorted okay so you've got your Carista dongle um, you just need to locate your OBD port which is in on the right hand drive vehicle it is on the driver's side so you make sure it's locating the right way around turn it in and plug it in obviously make sure your ignition is on so that it will activate and you could should hopefully see that it's now gone red so what we'll do is we will jump onto the iphone and i'll do the screenshot you'll sh i'll show you how to do it as a video on there and i'll overlay the audio on top so then you can see how you do it okay guys once you've got your carista app plugged in and you've downloaded your carista um sorry you've got your carista dongle plugged in and your app downloaded you have then get presented with this screen so you've got diagnose custom service and then you've got all the all the settings in down in here so you won't you don't need to pair it by bluetooth on the iphone or wi-fi it just automatically picks up on it which i think is pretty cool so first and foremost um you can check things out by going into like diagnose service all that sort of stuff so i've just clicked service um it takes about uh two minutes to three minutes to do its first initial sort of very quick scan just to make sure you're connected it's well worth doing it just to show it's done so look it was done in a, in a few seconds there you've got service into indicator reset detailed ecu info and emissions test so we're not going to worry with any of them we're going to go straight into customize it's then going to quickly scan the vehicle to see what um, modules it's got access to um, you might hear some beeping and some bonging and some things going on in your dashboard, but that's just because it is scanning through your vehicle just to see what is there. So we're at 36% at the moment. Um, it takes a couple of more seconds just to get all the way through, especially if you're on a, we're working on a transporter um, just to show it for ease of use. But if you've got this dashboard in your other vehicle, like a Golf or a Passat or a Tiguan or something like that, then you can also do it with the dongle. It doesn't need to be a transporter or T5 or T6, whatever you want to do it in. So we'll just give it a few more seconds just to finish itself off. We're at 75%, 80%, and we're almost there. So the only one module that we need to go into, in actual fact, is instruments. So that's number 17 if you use VCDS. Uh, if you don't use VCDS, don't worry, we're just going to go and straight up find the dashboard. So um, we've got four sections, doors, windows, remote, instruments, displays, dings, lights, and others. So we're going to go into instruments. And we've got we get presented with all this information here. So if if you're not too sure about it, don't don't worry too much. But I'll I'll guide you through it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to instrument cluster region effects external lights too. So we're going to tap that, and you can either do um, well we're just going to go straight up Australia. So we'll click that and we'll click save. Okay, so we're going to push Australia and then save. Now, if you've just bought this dongle, you will get a month's free usage out of it. So click save um, and give it a few seconds and it's going to do it all. Cool. So now instrument cluster region. Um, if you're using VCDS, you can do it a different way, but Australia is the way. And also as well, if you want it whilst you're in here, do the needle sweep at startup. Click yes and then save.
then away you go. So it is important to remember that whilst you're using this, you do have to pay for some functions and some other bits you don't. But that's just part of the beauty of this little Carista dongle that you can, you can do all of this. So now we've got our information loaded into the computer of the car. We're going to put the main camera back on and we're going to give you a zoomed in view of what we're working with so you can see how to change it on your dashboard and get your needle sweep and all that sort of stuff and your big speedo, which is the most important thing for you. Okay guys, right, so Carista is all done and dusted. We've done all the activation and stuff on uh, the dongle itself and with, the, with your phone. So now we're going to go through the settings using these buttons here, because on the T6, as I mentioned before, the buttons are slightly different, but how you go through the menu structure is exactly the same. So what you do is you go through to your settings and then you scroll down. You'll see alternate speed display, you click OK. You scroll back up to uh, units as you're going along. Consumption distance. Obviously, if you're in the UK, you want miles and MPG, so you click OK on that one. Click back, click back. Go up to MFD data. Um, that's normally unticked, but it, we've pre-ticked it anyway. So click the digital speedo, that's now, that's now appeared on there, and then come out. This will only appear if you deselect the alternate speed display on the other screen that we did just a minute ago. Then click back. Just check everything's okay. And then go through to your MFD. So it needs to be on MFD. And then put using your down button, you just scroll through and there you go. So you've got a nice big digital speedo there now. So as you're driving along, um, instead of having the stupid little uh, kilometers per hour that doesn't really do very much for you, um, you've got a nice big speedo so you can see exactly what speed you're doing without looking at the clocks. Uh, and also you've got your nice temperature display there. So I um, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, we're gonna be doing a few more. Uh, we probably will tailor some more videos to the T6 as well uh, because they seem to be really popular at the moment um, so yeah thanks very much for watching um, if you've got any questions or you didn't understand something then please just give me a shout on the comments below and we'll always be as happy to help as we can and uh, thanks for watching